Glad to stay with us and it's our brand day break. At this point, we are joined by Ola Milikwa Debayo. It's morning motivation segment and today we are going techy. Okay, so we'll be talking about opportunities in tech and why is it that a lot of persons are beginning to switch to tech? My younger sister is a nurse and she was telling me recently that, ah, sister, I'm considering tech and I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Maybe you should tell, um, tell us what, what the new craze is about tech. Well, I think first is um, tech, I would say, makes your life easier and faster. Okay. Okay. So it's one of the major reasons that people are transitioning into tech. And in tech, I think there is a place for every single um, there is a place for every single job profession in tech okay. to make your life easier <coughs> in whatever job or, um, profession that you have or you are into. So this is the major reason why people are transitioning into tech because it makes your job one um, a, a top quality, and it makes your your uh, it, it opens up more opportunities for you in technology as a whole. Take example is a, a probably a small bakery, okay. having a small bakery. Now the general um, the general kind of life these small bakeries people have probably let's say like five ten years ago will be to have just posters around mm -hmm. and tell a few people that I have this bakery. <coughs> but now you can always um, um, probably make an app if you have enough money to do that. Okay. Make a website if you have enough money to do that. Probably post some ads on Facebook, on Instagram. This automatically, just uh, in your house, you don't have to go out and tell people as much as but possible. And possible. Mm -hmm. you know, you, you bring customers to yourself just by um, 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 embracing tech using tech in your own line of what you are doing. So this okay. is why tech is, has, has uh, gone big in, in, in high demand. All right. You see that it's an easy one. Because, I mean, a lot of persons saying they are switching. I, I'm thinking, I don't know some mm -hmm. of those things, physics or mm -hmm. what have you. Whatever it is, it, it involves really. Is it that easy? Um, uh, it, yeah. Um, it's, I would say it is easy. It depends on what you want to learn. Okay. okay, maybe that will take us to the various um, mm -hmm. opportunities that are mm -hmm. available in tech. It depends on what you want to learn because um, first is, like I said, this small example I give, there are people just just infusing some part of tech into yeah, what they are exactly. doing and there are some people actually going into tech exactly. itself. itself. And in, in tech itself, there are different, um, as, as little as graphic designs, Okay. It's it's a very big distance in tech. It just depends on how good you are, how good you are. Tech generally, right now, it's not just about I'm going into tech. I want to, uh, I just want to learn. I'm going to tech. No, it's it's about how good you are because everybody everybody knows that okay. I'm looking for a graphic designer. There are probably 1,000 graphic designers. Know, so so yeah. how good can you be in, in what you do? What kind of quality, how, uh, how, how creative can you be? And what kind of quality can you put on, 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 on your products that you have mm -hmm. in technology? And again, um, of course, tech has gone in such a way that we have remote jobs now. Yeah. So it automatically makes it easy for you to be in Nigeria and work for people outside. And that is, I think that's one of the major things that a, a lot of um, people target now. Okay. Because of course, when you look at the naira to dollar, this thing is always exchange rate. exchange rate is always very very good for these people. So they are always targeting working outside. Now working outside means that you have to be very good. Okay. You just don't have to be good. Like I, okay, I'm good. No, no, you have to be very good to work outside because these are top companies and they are ready to pay. These top companies are ready to pay as long as they know that you can deliver on on the job for them. So this is. Something that has made, and it's. I think it's more about young people. A lot of young people are going into this, and okay. I think I, I have a lot of friends in in school that before in in in, in I think two hundred three hundred level. These guys are already making like five hundred k, six hundred. I think it's about close to like a thousand dollars then. So it's it's um it's it's very. I would say it's very stressful. Okay. Starting in whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh, before you continue, you I would really to. like you to talk about. Okay, you already said tech niche. Mm -hmm. Talk to mm -hmm. us about that. You talked about uh, graphics design. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to know more because you know someone might be listening. The person is thinking, okay, I want to switch to tech. So maybe you might just help that person make a decision on what to switch to, and maybe what will be required if you're switching to a particular exactly. area or the other. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, generally, I think there are just mainly two branches you you put them into. They are just the, the low code. Those ones that don't really require code. Okay. 
okay. and also okay. the programming ones that, that requires full programming. The low code are just the graphic design, the UI UX. There are also things like project management and um, some other ones that they and the uh, and the ones that have to do with codes are web development. Even web development also have now been streamlined in so in such a way that you can also kind of make websites without really knowing how to code. code. Okay. Okay. They have made some a lot of um, templates down. A lot of just um, UI UX kind of um, um, graphics down that you can easily use to just you need drag to buy and drop. Them? Mm, not really. Some of them are free. They okay. have made a lot of them open source for people. So you just plug in. You just plug them in and you make this kind of amazing websites also. But they, are ju they just have some limited um, limited functionalities compared okay. to someone building them from the scratch. Okay. So that's just um, in in the other I side. Think. Yes, in in the in the coding side, the the I would say the a lot of a lot of they they all from. Um, I'll say from the machine learning, from data engineering. I don't like hearing those words. They sound web three and all mm -hmm. these. There'll be the place of app development as well. Of course, of course, it's it's app development. Also, I I think also there is uh, um, there is a, a, a little bit of low code for them also. Okay. But those ones, uh, I think they, they you have to pay for some of these kind of um, functionalities for you to have them. Okay. But most of it, it's, it's, you have to code them from the scratch. Also. Let's talk about UI, UX design. Mm -hmm. What is it about? Is it just graphics and um, some instructions? Yes, UI, UX. I would say UI, UX is one of the booming kind of yeah. um, techniques because mm -hmm. it does not require code. So oh, it okay. automatically makes a lot of people want to go into it. It's a little bit like graphic design. But it's more like you're making prototypes of a website and of an application. So it's just about um, companies that want to make a website, that want to make an application. They always want to call it the UI UX designer. So it designs what that website will look like. like okay. It's not like it's the website originally. It is okay. what it will look like. It's just like an architect mm -hmm. and a civil engineer. So it designs everything of how it looks like. So gives it to the web um, programmer or developer. They now makes it exactly like that. As long as the client mm -hmm. or the uh, employer looks at it and says, okay, this is what I want. Please, what is required? Because that sounds like something. <laughs> <laughs> what are the skills required for UI UX? And UI UX is two things. I think your system and it requires your system and just your creativity. That's okay. just majorly. Uh, they, they are, I think they are like a thousand free YouTube tutorials on yes. it. They yeah. are like a thousand of it on. Folks even share materials. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of. Yeah. 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 So they're just numerous. Whatever you want, it's generally I think for even almost all tech distance, they are like for the basics of any tech, they are like a thousand of them, um, a videos on YouTube no. that are very free and are very very good um, resources that you can use to start up with all these things. All you need is just your laptop and consistency, mm. because um, it's it's. It's not a day job. It's not a six months job. It's a, it's not a year job. In 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 the tech world, experience is a very very important thing because it it's, it shows it shows how much um, you can work with problems, how much you can easily solve problems, and uh, they, uh, a lot of these clients want you to be able to solve problems as exactly. fast as possible. So if you have experience before, if you have two, three, four years experience, it means that you have m you must have encountered most of these problems, yes. and you will not have a, pro um, oh, a, a, a problem solving. Looking at how dynamic, you know, the tech world is, mm -hmm. it's ever changing, ever evolving, mm -hmm. new, you know, um, advancements and all of that. Mm -hmm. Keeping up with all of these things will require regular training, periodic learning, you know, on, mm -hmm. on a go-to basis. So um, for someone who is maybe into UI, UX and the likes, um, how do they keep up with the latest trends or you know, developments. Okay, um, for, I think, one is that you always subscribe to, there are a lot of um, 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 tech websites that always okay. bring out new things. There's the one. Then also, I think for, for UI UX, there are just majorly two distance they use, majorly um, two applications they use, Figma and Adobe XD. So those okay. two distance always bring out updates. There are always okay. updates for them, and they will tell you that this is the update and this is the update. And lastly, you should always follow experienced UI UX developers. There are okay. a lot of experienced UI UX, UX developers. Yeah. So you should always let them follow them because these people always drop out new updates on this new this new application. This is how you should use it. This okay. new um, feature. This is how to use it. Yes, so when you follow these kind of people, you, you always stay updated with all okay, this Okay, just before we go, what's your own area of specialization? I know you are a data analyst, but mm -hmm. beyond that, what's your area of 
specialization and how's it been? Um, it's, it's more of just having, uh, I would say, data in generally. I work with data in generally. So because I, I, I started off as a machine learning engineer before going oh, okay. into what data happened? analysis. What, what happened? Was it too no, difficult? No, it's... It is difficult, okay. no, but it's, it's not too difficult. It's okay. just I, um, it's just the kind of area I want to okay. go so into. Data uh, no, it's more of data engineering. Yeah, right. oh, but okay. you you have to start from this kind of place before you before you get there because data engineering it's more a whole stuff. Okay. It's more like you it's you are making data engineering is what makes you it's what makes data available for a data analyst and oh. a, a machine learning engineer so you want to for a data analyst to be able to analyze some data there must have been data available for you now this data that's available for us we see in excel sheets we see in um, all this kind of i was going to ask you as a data engineer are mm -hmm. you the one coming up with some of these applications or some of these uh, tools not no not the tools generally but the um data required for each of um, let me use an example. Um, your your phone. Uh, okay, yes. Let me use your phone. Facebook now. When you log on uh, onto Facebook, you type in your name, you type in your number, and Facebook automatically brings in close friends that you people that you yeah. know. That it's it's a work of algorithms. Mm -hmm. These algorithms are, are are things that they have trained with data. So this data that they train them with is what the, the, these data engineers provide. Okay. And they just make a lot of like data pipelines. Yes, it's like yeah. backend. Okay. They make a lot of data pipelines for them to train these models. It's like training a machine that, okay, when you see a cop, recognize it as a cop. I feel like going to learn on that. <laughs> like, I'm going to learn a whole lot. But are you going to teach me UI UX designing? That's what that seems very simple. That's really. like the in thing now. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's easier to learn. It's just, it's consistency and creativity that's so just it. of course i can give you some resources that you can always <laughs> use <laughs> so uh, uh, but, but your, your final words for for those who want to delve into this you know um as you've said it's broad they need to pick you know mm -hmm. um, a particular sector or part of it aspect to to um, i would say for anybody going into this it's you you have to have passion for whatever it is you want to pick okay. so when you pick it you have to be consistent and not to jump around. I think a lot of times when we are going into this, we're like, yeah. oh, web development this is, is good. Okay, let me jump. No, no, no. Nice. You don't have to jump. You just have to be a professional in whatever it is you okay. do. Okay. And you get as much money as you want All to. Right. Okay. Thank you. I think we Thank just have to much. end our conversation <laughs> with you at this point. Many okay. thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Being here. Okay, just before we take the quote of the day, yep. we have to celebrate Chima Jail at Chinawata. One of <laughs> What state is it from? I think <laughs> Im Anambra or Imo, one or two. <laughs> but, but, but it's um, definitely a great personality, you know, um, always vibrant, trying oh, to absolutely. get us on. He's, he's right and there. And his nickname, Roll Montage. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the Montage. Roll Montage. <laughs> That's the young man there. Yeah. Um, he's one of our directors of photography, and I must say, he does a great job. Great job. Great job. Absolutely. Great personality. So um, the, the, the beauty about it is afterwards, there's, um, you know, the goody goodies to celebrate yeah. with. And <laughs> I love cake. So, I mean, I'm just waiting for the cutting of the cake <laughs> all right in closing uh, let's bring you the uh, quote for the day you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream so i mean it's not too late for me to become a ui ux no designer. no not too, late, not, too late, not too late and it's not too late as well for one to you know improve on oneself so even if you're, you're into you know um whatever field you've been for so long there's always room for improvement absolutely even within that same field absolutely well that particular quote is from malala uh, you sassy, yeah, yeah, something like that. But I think at this point, I just want to say many thanks to you for joining us on the show today. My name is Perpetua Fasan Repeater. I'm Samson, a lady. Do have a great day. <laughs>